Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we will learn how to make a digital clock in C Sharp application. This is the final output of this video. This part shows um, 24 hour based hour and minute, and uh, this will be the second. And uh, this part shows um, current date, and uh, this is the day of the week. Let's look how we can do that in C Sharp. Yeah. I already created a project with the name of digital clock demo in this form. I don't need this uh, minimize, maximize and close button. For that, I'm going to change this uh, form border style to none. And I want to expand this one. Here, I want to change the back form background color. Here, I want black color. Okay, I need labels. I need four label. I want to change this label text color black to white. For that four color, select white. Okay, I need four labels. So copy and pasting here. Sorry, um, you can download this project source code. Um, from the link given below in description along with that I have included um, DS digital font files here okay, You can directly install these two files in your system. Okay Now this first label um, this one is used to display 24 hour based time and the second label I uh, used to, to uh, display seconds and uh, this will be the day, uh, date and uh, this will be the date. So I am going to change the label names and the font families here. First label will be LBL time and the font style will be I already installed a DS digital font. Okay, here DS digital and the size will be 72. Click OK. Then second label, label will be my second lbl second and font style ds digital and the size will be 28 then this label is used to display date so lbl date and font style ds digital and then size will be 36 this label is used to display the day so lbl day Here, font style DS digital and the size will be 36. Click OK. Now, let me change this label border styles. Okay, border style to be fixed single. Okay. Now we need timer control. Double click here. In properties, you can see the interval is 100. We can specify the timer interval here. It will be in milliseconds. By default, it's 100 milliseconds. In our case, we need a timer for updating clock time, digital clock time. For that, we need to update clock time after each second. So our interval will be one second. Um, here one second is equal to thousand milliseconds. Okay. After each second, um, it will trigger this tick event. Okay. So we need to write tick event for updating the clock time. So double click on this uh, tick event. Okay. Uh, here we will write code for label this label with appropriate contents. Okay, first uh, this label is used to show hour and minute in 24 hour format. Okay, for that uh, LBL time dot text equals date time dot uh, now dot to string. Inside that we have to specify the format hour and uh, min minute. For the second label, this will be um, used to uh, show the second. So I just copy this line and pasting here. Here I want to change the label 
name your format is double single s okay third one is uh, third label is used to display the date i just copy this line and pasting here changing the label name date and here font uh, size sorry format will be triple m to display the month name and a small double d to display the date and a small 4y to display the current year i just copy this line and pasting here to display the fourth label as day okay here to display the day we use this format for single d okay now uh, we need to start this timer okay so in further term in form load event we can call this timer start class timer one dot start now let's look how it works oh fine it's working now um, here it's displaying hour and a minute, year seconds, and year is the day, and the label 4 is not working fine. Okay, let's check it. Anything is so LBL date, and this is also LBL day. So change the label name, and uh, we want to show this screen as center screen. Let's set a um, start position as center screen. Okay, run this application now. Okay. Now it's working fine. Now somewhat we have to adjust this day label and here you can see this label. Um, hour and a minute label and a second label are separated. Now we can, we need to adjust these two labels in our code. For that I am going to change this x coordinate of this label as a x coordinate of this label plus a width of this label and keeping the y coordinate as it is. For that, here LBL second dot location equals new point. Locations are specified in point here. X coordinate will be LBL time location dot X coordinate then plus lbl time dot width okay and keeping the y coordinate as it is so lbl second dot location dot y okay okay yeah. Now let me check how it looks. Start the application. Wow. Um, now it's working fine. Now let me move this uh, second label little bit more to left. For that we need to reduce this uh, x coordinate. Okay. Reduce this x coordinate with a little bit minus 5 and save this and run the application again okay and we want to adjust this label or day label okay save and uh, run this application okay now it's working fine so we can adjust this somewhat center to this screen also And run this application okay uh, digital clock is working fine okay guys uh, if you found this video is helpful to you don't forget to subscribe uh, if you are new to this channel uh, please subscribe and if you are older one please like um, press like button thank you for watching this one